Yeah, women never lie. Women never lie. They don't. If you say that women lie, well, I'm sorry, I'm here to tell you women never ever lie. If you say that women lie, then well, then you're lying. Yeah, you're lying because women don't lie. No, they never lie. They always tell what they believe to be true. <laughs> yeah, that's the key issue with women. See, whatever they're saying at any given moment, they believe it's the truth. They believe it in their bones. It, it could be the most outrageous untruth. Okay, let, let's put it that way. Let's not call it a lie. Let's call it an untruth. It can be outrageous. It could be like the sky is green and two plus two is five. But if they believe it, they believe it sincerely, then how can you tell? I mean, I mean, it's really interesting from a perspective of philosophy, from the perspective of epistemology. If somebody believes something so thoroughly, but it goes counter to reality, but they believe it so completely, are they actually lying? A short answer, if you're a guy, yes. If you're a woman, no. And that's the point. See, a woman will believe a feeling if she thinks that something ought to be true, even though it's not actually factually true, but if she thinks that it ought to be true, then she'll believe it. She'll believe it and she'll repeat it as if it were the truth. She'll believe it so completely in a way that guys don't do it. Because I mean, have you noticed guys, most guys, when we know that something's not true, we can't really fake it. Yeah. We, 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 if when we believe something that is just absolutely false, that we always have these tells. We always sort of like give the game away, but women don't. Women lie in a way that is incredible. I frankly don't understand why women aren't better poker players because when they sincerely believe something, I mean, they can pass any polygraph test because it's something in their bones. And what's interesting is that there is a reason for this. Oh yeah. You see, women, to get ahead in life, I'm talking from an evolutionary perspective now, okay? I'm talking, you know, over the last three and a half million years of human evolution. In order to get ahead, women had to comply with their social group. They had to comply to the, with their social group in order to advance their interests, in order to score the best mate, in order to survive. Because remember, a woman on her own cannot bear and raise a child and survive. She needs help, assistance from her social milieu. It's simply impossible for a woman to raise a child on her own. Okay, that's why human beings are social animals and women are the most social animals of them all because since they need their social environment in order to survive, they will comply with whatever the social environment dictates. If the social environment says that the sky is green, she'll say the sky is green. If her social milieu says that, you know, two plus two is five, she will nod and say, yes, two plus two is five and she will believe it. She will believe it in a way that a guy never would. Yeah, of course, because this goes to men's evolution. See, a man evolved to go out and hunt the woolly mastodon, right? And so it was no good to be lying about stuff. You had to be very precise. You had to be factually accurate, as accurate as you possibly could. And so because of it, because we as men evolved to be precise so that we could successfully hunt the woolly, mam um, woolly mammoth rather, or build the house or the hut or whatever, you know, we had to be precise, irrespective of whether we liked it or not, because our survival depended on our precision. Our survival depended on us being accurate. But the survival of women does not depend on them being accurate. The survival of women depends on them complying with the social milieu. And so because of it, women are more than happy to comply with whatever nonsense the society around her is telling her to believe in. See? And the fact of it is, in this uh, current uh, problems <laughs> we are having, hmm? this little strife that's going on in the world, yeah, you notice women totally buy into this garbage. And we know for a fact, from objective fact, that it's not true. See, what's going on in the world, all this BLM crap, it's not true. Black people are not being persecuted by the police. If anything, white people are. Yeah, there are a lot more white guys being killed by police than black guys. But women, what are they doing? 
They are signing on to this insanity and they are going hysterical. I mean, have you seen some of the women out there? They are really foaming at the mouth crazy, right? And you say to yourself, how could these women who appear to be educated, they appear to be sensible, they appear to have IQ points, and they have the degrees and whatnot, and they are believing lies and nonsense and craziness. And you ask yourself, how is this possible? Well, because they have been literally bred, and I know how ugly that word is, but it's the truth. They have been bred by evolution to comply with their society, no matter what craziness the society is spewing. So that's why women don't lie. That's why, because they believe it because they have to, because if they didn't believe it, they would not survive. Their children would not survive. You see, and it's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. And it's, un it's unnerving. No, it's not unnerving. It's, it's just, you want to tear your heart, hair out, uh, heart out, hair out. You, you want to get furious at women. You as a man. Yeah. Because you know that they are spouting nonsense, lies, bullshit. And they are spouting them as if they fully believe this crap. And later, 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 when all the hysteria has calmed down, when everybody sort of like looks back and like nervously is like, tee hee, you know, oh, look, we, we did a boo-boo. We did a boo-boo. We acted a little crazy, you know, and they're all going to pretend like it was no big deal, but it was a big deal. We are seeing it. We are seeing cities go up in flames over bullshit. That's what's going on. And women are at the forefront of this craziness and you want to grab them and say, Hey, don't you realize that this is baloney? It's nonsense. It's lies, but no, they spout the lies and they repeat the lies and they believe the lies. Women never lie. That's the point. They sincerely believe whatever nonsense they are espousing. And this presents an opportunity. Yeah, because then the issue becomes you. If you have a woman in your life, you're in a relationship, you want to be controlling the narrative that your woman has. Yeah. And it's actually very easy. Yeah. You just have to ask her questions and subtly guide her, not browbeat her, not try to convince her. No, just subtly push her in the direction that you want. And when she doesn't go there, you withdraw. You withdraw and make it clear that you don't like it. You don't like that. She's not agreeing with you and you're going to find that she nods. Yeah, she nods. Recently I, uh, had a, a sort of like a dinner thing with this woman I met and, uh, we had dinner and we were talking about politics, of course. And, uh, she liked me. I could tell, you know, you can always tell when somebody likes you. And so she was an SJW. She was, you know, fully believing in all that SGW shit. And I didn't uh, act confrontationally on this issue. On the contrary, I just want to try something out. And what I tried out was I, I subtly kind of like undermined this issue of, you know, BLM and all these riots and all the rest of it. And she quickly complied because she wanted to stay in my good graces. And I didn't browbeat her. And that's the key issue because when you attack frontally a woman, insofar as an issue that is obviously not true or obviously just ridiculous. If you attack her frontally, she'll retreat and get defensive. And of course you lose. But if you're gentle, if you're soft, gently, gently penetrating through this armor of stupidity and a self brainwashing that a lot of women have, most women have, frankly, well, if you gently pierce through this nonsense, she'll comply with you. She'll comply with what you are saying. And soon enough, she'll be nodding along to whatever it is that you're saying. Yeah. But if you attack frontally, yeah, it's, it's like that, uh, Chinese, um, you know, that, that Chinese torture thing where it has the thing that has both fingers, right? If you try to yank it out, you're going to lose. But if it's gentle and you squeeze in the middle, then your fingers come off, right? It's the same principle. You have to be gentle, soft, just guide her subtly and make it clear that if she doesn't go your way, you're going to disapprove because that's the thing that women fear. Women fear disapproval, not complying with the group. She wants to be in with the group, whether that group be a thousand people or just one, just you. She wants to comply, understand that because like I said before, her compliance is necessary for her survival. It's built into her by evolution. 
So she wants to comply with you, but she's not going to want to comply uh, if you force it down her throat. You got to be gentle. You got to, rather than browbeat her, hitting on her on the head with truth and logic and facts, you have to sit back and draw her towards you. Hmm? And she'll comply because of evolution. She'll comply because she wants to be in with the right group. See? And that's the thing that's going on with the BLM and these riots and all this nonsense that's going on. All these stupid, overeducated women, they want to be a part of a group. And the group right now says that it's perfectly fine to set the whole world on fire. Okay? And so they're nodding along like fools and doing what agent provocateurs, crazy communist socialist bastards are telling them to do because they want to get in good with them. See? And so. Yeah, you're a guy. And so for you, this might be a little bit weird, a little bit difficult to understand. If you don't totally understand it, then just take my word for it and apply the lessons that I'm trying to tell you here. Don't browbeat a woman, just encourage her to go your way. And she will naturally go your way because that's what women want. They want to go with the flow. Hmm? And no matter how smart a woman is, no matter how educated, you know, Harvard and Oxford and God knows what, at the end of the day, every woman, no matter how educated she is, every single woman wants to comply with her man. And point of fact, she identifies her man as the man that she complies to. So you, you have to step up and make it clear that your point of view is the dominant point of view, is the right point of view. Not browbeating her, just saying, this is how it is and this is where I'm going. And if you want to follow, fine. And if you don't want to follow, I'll find somebody else. You act that way and she will follow. You act that way and she will comply. She wants to comply. And that's no lie. <laughs>